Hey guys, uh, what's up? Uh, compare ko lang yung original na Komine uh, SK607. So, ito yung shin protector. Me and shin protector. So, on the left side, ito yung original. Sa so, right side, ito yung fake. So, ito, ang cost nito is 3,500. Yung isang pair. Ito ay nakuha ko ng 700 pesos. So, 20% lang na original price. So, let's start with the packaging. So, ito yung packaging. Uh, yung original, ito, makikita nyo ang price niya, 3,500. Ito sa left side. Ito naman ay sa fake. So, as you can see, sa color, mas dark, uh, mas dark gray. Ito ay light gray. Then, sa original na kasulat, kumine.ac, then, uh, kumine.ph naman dun sa fake. Then, of course, meron tayong sticker dito. Uh, this is from Motorworld, by the way. Then, uh, sa back, yan. Again, this is the original. Ito yung fake. Mas maraming information na kasulat dito. Dito wala. Then, of course, you have the sticker here. Um, pag may yen, ibig sabihin, uh, price sa Japan. So, most probably, it's this, this is the uh, price sa Japan. So, yun yung packaging. So, same lang din yung net. So, let's move on with the protector itself. Uh, let's start from the top, front. So, for the original... Uh, medyo mas light yung red ito mas dark or mas red na red for the protector ito pinaka importante kung mararamdaman nyo lang test against this uh, same dito sa baba sa shin mas solid no? ito yung binabayaran na mahal no? kasi ito hindi ko alam pero para sa akin madali siyang masira No, mas manipes yung plastic niya Then for the label Ito may konting difference sa kanila Kung papansin nyo yung word na Tokyo uh, Mas dikit sa original Dito mas spaced out Tingnan nyo, tingnan nyo na lang Yung difference nila Then for the inside Ito medyo malaki difference For the inside Kunin ko yung apares niya For the inside Makikita nyo yung uh, material dito sa original manipis yung neoprene so this is this is what the uh, community calls uh, airprene so mas manipis siya yung papansin yung may mga butas-butas dito all the way from uh, from uh, to the inside dito sa fake it's normal neoprene so makapal siya so sigurado ako dahil may mga butas para yung air makapasok no? Then, sa foam, dito sa loob, uh, mas maraming butas. Dito mas maliit yung butas, dito mas malaki. Again, that's for airflow. And, uh, pag hinawakan niyo yung foam, mas makapal yung foam dito. Uh, edo naman sa original, mas bouncy. So, bumabalik agad. Dito hindi, medyo lumulupog matagal bago umangat. Okay. So, mula sa taas hanggang dito, itong full material, uh, yun yung pinagkaiba nila. Then, meron tayong tag. May tag tayo dito. Ito yung tag ng fake. Then, you have uh, tag ng original. Ang difference nila is ito mas shiny. And then, may nakalagay na made in China. And ito naman ay wala. Okay. So, basically, yung difference nila Uh, again, this is 3,500 yung original and to and this is just 700 pesos. Napalaki ng price difference. Diba? So iba, nagtataka, ba't ako bibili ng 35, bibili ako ng 700. So again, the original is always tested. It's quality tested and of course original yan. So uh, dumaan ng quality assurance. Uh, nagkaroon ng naglagay ng research, pinagdaanan ng research yan itong fake ay pinagbasihan na itsura so just the design 
So, yung perfect yung design pagkakopya, uh, pero yung performance ay siguradong malayo. So, in case na nagkaroon ng impact, ito ang dapat pagkatiwalaan. Now, kung wala kayong budget, since 3.5 to, ito ay 700. Okay na rin to. Uh, sabi ko nga, uh, little protection is better than uh, no protection at all. So, if you're budget conscious, 700 pesos to. But I would recommend uh, the pole position brand from Moto World na nasa 1,000 ata, 900 or 1,000. Original din yun. Uh, so, hindi siya fake. So, nag, uh, hindi nagkakalayo yung presyo nila. Okay? So, again, uh, this is the original Comine. Again, this is the SK607 Extreme Nation Protector Short. So, yung comparison ng original local natin. Okay? Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching Gear Guide and that's it.